Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to make a scrunchie. This is also my first pattern, so if you'd like to purchase it, the link will be down below. It's a digital pattern, it's only 99 cents. You just go onto my Etsy shop and purchase it, and it's a PDF that you'll get. You can print it out if you like. It's five pages, um, and it has like written instructions and photos of each step. The whole document is five pages long, but only three pages of that is the actual instructions. And uh, with today's video, I have made eight of these boat scrunchies, and then I have four of these um, patterned ribbed scrunchies. So these scrunchies will be available to the first 12 people to purchase my pattern. So go ahead and purchase that down below. Make sure that your billing address is a good mailing address and you'll be sent a scrunchie if you're one of the first 12 people to support me and purchase my pattern. Please enjoy today's video, share it with your friends, like and subscribe. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our fabric and all of the dimensions will be available in the PDF on my Etsy shop, it's 99 cents. So we're gonna take our fabric and then short sides together, right sides facing. So that means the pretty sides are facing each other and we are gonna sew right along the short edge here. And I have used some yellow bobbin and some red top thread to make sure that you guys can clearly see what I've stitched. So we're gonna stitch along this end. Then we're gonna open it up, finger press. You could take it to the iron if you're working in a big batch, but finger press is fine. Then we're gonna flip it over, fold up, fold up. So we're making a little burrito. So this is the inner part. This is the right side. And then we're gonna fold and make sure that our creases touch. Now we're gonna put three clips or three pins. So I'm gonna put one right here, right on the seam so they match up. Then we're gonna put one on the right side. Make sure the fabric isn't popping out. One on the left side. Now you take this to your sewing machine and you start up here. Make sure you do a back stitch. Start sewing along this edge keep going and then you're going to start pulling your fabric out and this is the magic burrito so you keep pulling your fabric out it's caught on the clips here so you keep pulling your fabric out and as you can see this will allow you to stitch more pull stitch pull stitch so your first go will look like this and then right down here like i said there's an opening so what you'll do is you'll just Pull, and then you can watch here at the top how it'll just go inside of itself. We're gonna pull. See right here is the seam. Make sure that's matched up. So we're gonna keep pulling, but don't pull too far. And while you're doing this, your needle is in the downward position. Once you have enough to keep going, just make sure you tuck the inside fabric in. Match up the sides and keep sewing and just do it bit by bit. Don't rush yourself, just take your time. So as we keep going, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. Then eventually you'll come to the end. So you can see this part here is sewn together and this is where you make your back tack, right here at the end. So then our next step is to pull it right sides out. Then we're gonna get our chopstick and we're gonna run that along the whole inside to pop out the seam, just run it along your seam on both ends. This just makes a good looking end product and you won't be able to do this at any other step. So just go ahead and run your chopstick along the edge. Next, what we're going to do is we're gonna take our elastic. Again, the measurements are in the PDF, so go ahead and purchase that, it's 99 cents. And one end, we're gonna have a closed safety pin. Other end, we're gonna have open. We're gonna look for our opening, which is right here. And we're gonna go to the left side. It doesn't matter actually which side. Put the um, safety clip on, and that's gonna allow this piece to not fall inside. Put your other safety pin, and we're just gonna work our way through. Just like if you ever lost a hoodie tie, we're just re-threading that elastic, getting it through the whole scrunchie. This is when it starts looking like a scrunchie. Pull the elastic through. And now we have two safety pins here. If you're working on the go, you could just go ahead and 
clip this on here, keep doing your batch and then come back to it. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna unclip, hold that in our hand while we're unclipping the other. Be sure to not let go. Then we're gonna pull the two out. We have this one in our hand. Take this one out. Make sure that they're flat. Match them up. We're gonna put a safety pin at the end. And now if you have some reverse tweezers, that's really helpful before we go to the sewing machine. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the reverse tweezers, we're gonna pull this out further, make sure they're nice and flat. Take the, re take the reverse tweezers, stick it on right here. Then we're gonna go to the sewing machine, we're gonna do a zigzag stitch, but we're gonna do it at a stitch length of zero so that you're only going back and forth. And we're gonna do a plus. We're gonna do horizontal, then we're going to take it out of our machine and do it again. So that's going to give us a plus. Now I didn't do a great job on this one, but you can see here I have a vertical and a horizontal. And that's just a redundancy to make sure that you don't lose your stitch. Pop off the safety pin. And now what we're going to do, and up to this point I have not cut any threads. Don't waste your time cutting threads. They all disappear inside. See? Just tuck them away. Don't waste your time and your opening will naturally want to just close itself. So make sure that you don't have exposed um, raw edges. Just push those guys in there and they'll naturally want to just lay flat. Now pro tip for you, use three pins. One at the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end. And what I mean by that is make sure your opening is nice and flat. Then I'm gonna go take a pin right in the middle. Then I'm going to take another one and I'm going to just slide it along the opening. Okay, right here's the end. Hold it, put a pin at the end. Then with another pin, do the same thing on the left side, find the beginning, stick a pin. Now when you go to your sewing machine, you can hold this nice and flat. You're gonna put your presser foot right here and start your needle here, do a back tack, go along this edge and do a back tack right here. And this tells you where to stop and where to end. We're gonna go ahead and pull those off. Do not sew over your pins, that's a bad idea. And your finished product will look like this. So like I said, I would use a uh, thread that does not show up, but for this project to show you guys, I went ahead and used a very visible thread. So that's what it'll look like. If you wanted to hand sew, you could do a blind stitch along this edge right here. But I just went ahead and made it nice and clear for you guys. And that's how you make a scrunchie. Let me go ahead and do it for you from start to finish at the sewing machine. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.